Big Brother is getting a lot sneakier, a little more underhanded, and using some marketing schemes to put forward and present this narrative that'll fly under the radar and create a pretense of benevolence of your central planners. They care about you so much, Canada, Canadians. Your political masters, they care about you so much that they're willing to use artificial intelligence to scour social media platforms and invade your privacies in the hopes of preventing you from committing suicide. And that's all they're doing it for. No, 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 it wouldn't be for any other malevolent reasons or because they're authoritarians or want to create a big data platform so they know everything about you. No, 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 no. This is all about just because your political masters, they care so much for you. Headline, CBC News, Nova Scotia. Canadian government to search social media using artificial intelligence to predict suicides. <laughs> First of all, right off the top of my head already, this is unjust, it's unconstitutional, illegal, and obviously immoral and i don't care what kind of pretense of benevolence they print, pretend to put forth oh it's all about protecting people or saving people from suicides really the government cares that much right <laughs> well maybe f because they need your tax revenue they don't want you to kill yourself or you once you retire and you become you know on the other side of that equation where you're relying on government money well then you can kill yourself Feds to hire a company with patented method to identify online trends and predict real-life events. Events, right? So, like I say, the headlines suggest that they're only going to do it. They're only going to be spying and invading on your privacy, you know, <laughs> to a tremendous degree. But they're only going to do it in the hopes of preventing you from committing suicide. Trust me. Trust us, they're saying. Trust us. No, 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 no. No, no. We won't use it for any other reasons. No, no. You know, cross my heart. Hope to die. <laughs> like I say, <laughs> you really willing to listen to these people? Are Canadians really willing to allow their government to impose themselves this deeply into their personal lives, into their social media lives? Come on, Candace, please tell me you're not willing to go along with this. The Canadian government will soon hire an Ottawa-based company specializing in social media monitoring and artificial intelligence to forecast spikes in suicide rates. A contract with Advanced Symbotics, Inc., an AI and market research firm, is set to be finalized next month. Working with the company to develop its strategy, the federal government will define suicide-related behavior on social media and use that classifier to conduct market research on the general population of Canada, according to a document published to Public Works website. The pilot project will last three months after which the government will determine if future work would be useful for ongoing suicide surveillance, the tender document said. Before I continue on, actually, this is kind of making me think, I wonder if they're doing this to delve into the mind, the psychology of Canadians because they want to use this as a manipulating factor for the general election in 2019. Hmm. If they can dig into the minds of the masses to a substantial degree and use that market research and that data as a pretense to figure out how to target each individual with certain particular political ads or advertising, or mind manipulation, hmm, I wonder, hmm, hmm, kind of makes you think a little bit, doesn't it? Instead of calling people to assess public opinion, Advanced Symbotics conducts its market research by identifying and tracking social media accounts to build a representative sample of a population, hmm. Many phone surveys poll roughly 1,500 people, but Advanced Symbotics said its representative sample of Canada's population used more than 160,000 social media accounts. And the company said its market research method has been accurate where many others have failed. We're the only research firm in the world that was able to accurately predict Brexit, the Hillary and Trump election, and the Canadian election of 2015, said CEO 
Aaron Kelly. So like I say, that kind of goes in line with my original line of thought there where it seems it's more all about getting big data and political parties combing through all this information to figure out how to best manipulate the minds of the masses. Seems more of a genuine explanation than this pretense that, oh, they're just doing it to hopefully prevent suicides. Like I say, it just, it just doesn't make sense that this is all about suicide prevention. And like I say, if you believe that that's their only goal, that's their only intention, well, I got to say, first and foremost, either you don't understand what central planners are all about, these authoritarians are all about, or you were born yesterday, one of the two, because uh, you can't, if you have a full grasp or understanding of what people are like that go into these positions of so-called authority in government, if you knew the kind of mindset these people have, you there's no way that you could actually suggest or put forth the notion that, oh no, they do everything for benevolent reasons, because... <laughs> The very act of being an authoritarian central planner tells you that it's all about malevolence, not benevolence. Advanced Symbotics said its artificial intelligence looks for trends, not individual cases. It'd be a bit freaky if we built something that monitors what everyone is saying and then the government contacted you and said, Hi, our computer AI has said we think you're likely to kill yourself, said Kenton White, chief scientist with Advanced Symbotics. Instead the, e, instead, the AI will flag communities or regions where multiple suicides are likely. For example, Cape Breton Island was left reeling last year after three teenagers in the region died by suicide. The spike that happened in Cape Breton, as unfortunate as it is, we can learn patterns from that, White said. We can also learn patterns from what happened in Saskatchewan, patterns from northern communities, patterns from college students. We're not violating anybody's privacy. It's all public posts, added Kelly. We create representative samples of populations on social media and we observe their behavior without disturbing it. But you know yourself and most people, no, most people didn't put their information out there with any knowledge that these people would be using this stuff. So even though social media platforms, this is the thing with you. You see what you've done? You social media people, like this is what happens. I get it. You want to use that data and put those disclaimers in your terms of use. <laughs> to benefit you, but you see how that's working out? There's a lot of bad actors that are now using all this big data and all these uh, all this information that they can garner from social media platforms for their own devious purposes. So, like I say, it's always, it always comes back to, but this is the thing, this is the thing. Let's listen, I'm not going to read any more of the article, but like I say, think about this, folks. Is this really in response to suicides or is it what I truly suspect all about gathering more data so that they can better target particular ads or propaganda in the hopes of keeping them in line with the status quo and maintaining their systems of power. I'll leave that ultimate decision up to you, but I hope you're at least wise enough to err on the side of caution <laughs> and don't just blindly follow or have faith in these central planners and the pretense that they put forward to present. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.